who would have thought the match would end in a draw? Now imagine a night where two strikers steal the spotlight, each hammering in two goals for their respective teams. That's exactly what happened in the first match of 2024, when Adelaide United clashed with Wellington Phoenix at Cooper's Stadium. Costa Barbaros' is, the man of the hour for Wellington Phoenix, scored for the fourth consecutive game. However, his double was not enough to secure a full victory for the A-League men leaders. Instead, they had to settle for a two-all draw against a 10-man Adelaide United team. Barbaros's found the net first in each half, bringing his tally to six goals in four games. Talk about starting the new year with a bang. But every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and that reaction came in the form of Adelaide's Hiroshi Ibusuki. The Japanese giant matched Barbaros's efforts, ensuring that Adelaide kept pace with Phoenix. The match was a thrilling roller coaster of events. Barbaros's opened the scoring in the 15th minute with a neat tap in at the far post, only for Ibusuki to equalize with a thumping header 11 minutes later. Then, right at the start of the second half, Barbaros's struck again. But the Phoenix's lead was short lived as Ibusuki equalized for the second time in the 55th minute. The match took another turn when Adelaide defender Ben Warland saw a red card for flattening Oscar Van Haddam. Yet, the Phoenix couldn't capitalize on their numerical advantage, and the match ended in a draw. Despite letting their lead slip twice, the Phoenix might take some solace from the fact that they have traditionally struggled at Cooper Stadium. However, the draw has put them one point clear at the top of the table, a lead that could be short-lived if Melbourne victory overcomes Perth glory. Looking ahead, the inaugural United round will see every club in the A-League, men and A-League women, descend on Sydney. The Phoenix men will face their distance derby rivals, Perth Glory at Combank Stadium. Stay tuned for more action-packed football in the days to come.